In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to create a template from our existing web page and reuse it again either within our website or in another domain or subdomain that we would like to use the same website or the same design. So we can reuse that entire page again in any other website we would like, not only within our website, or we can use a particular section if we would like to. So we're gonna do that in a very easy way. So we're gonna go to that icon in here. We're gonna save template like we did with other sections. We're gonna call it about us, entire page template trial, okay? And then we're gonna save that one. And now we're gonna see our previously saved templates. And here we have the one we just saved. We can either preview from here or delete or export. If we're gonna use it within our website, there is no need to export that page. But if you're gonna use it in your website, you're gonna insert within any section like we did before. Now we're gonna use it in another website, for example. So we're gonna press on export and that file will be downloaded to our computer. As you can see, it's called Elementor, some numbers, and then json.json, okay? Now you've got that page on your computer. You can reuse it later in another domain. So first we have to install our Elementor on our website. Then we gonna go to Elementor and we're gonna go to my library. We used that one before to create our maintenance page and coming soon page. So assuming this is a different website or subdomain, we're not gonna be finding all these templates. We're gonna be importing our template that we saved previously from another website. So we're gonna import that template and then we're gonna import now. We're gonna be searching for our JSON file. Then we're gonna be choosing our file that we downloaded earlier in here. And then you're gonna be searching for your .json file or you can locate it within your downloads folder. And then we're gonna select that folder and open it in our Elementor. And once imported, you're gonna be seeing that file imported within your Elementor library. And now you can reuse it again within any part of that new domain or that new website, okay? So this is making your entire design process easier and even you can experiment or try or design your website on a subdomain, then you can move it to your main website. If you don't want to activate that maintenance mode for a long while, you can design your entire website in a subdomain and you can be settled with your visuals. Then you can activate that maintenance mode for few hours to just activate that within your website, okay? Or maybe you can use that method for selling a design for your clients. Maybe you're working on web design or creating your own templates. And of course, that will save tons of time for freelancers out there or people who are working some web design for their clients. They can use their previously designed templates from their Elementor and reuse them later within their client's website for saving time and effort and money, okay? So now we can go and edit our page in here, that page I created earlier to insert our previously designed page. We can edit with Elementor. I already adjusted in here, so you can do that as well. If you wanna try that on your PC as well. Then you're gonna see your page. You can add a template and go to my templates. And now we're gonna see that page we created. We're gonna insert it within our website and it's gonna be reinserted, okay? Now you can see within few seconds, we have an entire page built for us, okay? And even I can recustomize or redesign any section or even reorder them and change with colors and some maybe layouts. I will be having a totally new web page design. So it's really amazing tool. And once you're done with that, you're gonna save it and you will be having your page saved, okay? Hope you are really enjoying that course this far and you're doing progress with your work. And if you didn't start applying these lessons on your uh, own website, I really recommend that you go over them again and start applying these techniques and these design hints on your website. And I would be so grateful if you would share it with us in here and show us your creative side. And if you would like to get any comment on your website, either technical side or creative side, I would be more than happy to help you guys and share my opinion with you. And it will be amazing for all of us to learn new creative sites. So maybe you have some inspiring tips for us. 
go ahead and share that with us it will be amazing and if you made it that far i'm so grateful for you and thank you so much for your time it's been a pleasure it's been a journey with you hope that was useful and helpful and if you have any questions go ahead and ask me either in direct message or through q a section or just commenting on any lecture the way you would like i would be more than happy to help you guys that was khalil ibrahim with you i'll be seeing you soon take care and have a great day